This video is for all touchscreen players in Rocket League Sideswipe. If you're on touchscreen, you basically have to watch this video. Are you tired of double tapping joystick to start air rolling? Have you just learned to stall but keep noticing that your car randomly starts air rolling after a stall? Well good, because I'm here to tell you that I have the perfect solution to both of those problems, and today I'm going to teach them to you. So as you guys know, the way most people start continuously air rolling on touchscreen is to double tap the joystick. Then if you want to stop air rolling, you just let go of the joystick. Well, I've discovered a new way of doing both of these things that might actually be a much better way to do them, especially for players who play with three or four fingers in the claw style, although if you're a two thumb player, this might work for you too. The first thing we need to do is enable the one touch hidden air roll button, which you can do by going into settings, then accessibility, and then make sure that this box is ticked. And now we can learn our new method. So first, without holding your joystick down, tap once on the hidden air roll button. Don't hold your finger down on this button, just tap it once and let go. Then put your finger back on the joystick. And now if you jump, you'll see that you're continuously air rolling. As you can see, this works when you're still on the ground, and it works when you're in the air as well. So it works in all situations. Technically, the way that this works is you're replacing that first tap in your usual joystick double tap with a half air roll tap instead. The game seems to think they're the same thing. And the most important thing about doing this is that the timing between tapping half air roll and putting your finger on the joystick needs to be the same as it usually would when you just double tap the joystick. So basically, pretty fast. If it's any slower like this, it won't work. And if you hold your finger on the half air roll button when you put your finger on the joystick, it won't work then either. It needs to be lift off joystick, then tap, lift off, then hold joystick. And now if you want to stop air rolling, you don't need to let go of the joystick. All you need to do is tap the hidden air roll button again, and you'll stop. Okay, so one of the most common complaints I got from you guys after I made my stall tutorial was that your cars would randomly start air rolling after stalling. So I went into Freeplay to figure out what was causing this problem, and I'm happy to say that I found it. The reason your car starts continuously air rolling after a stall is because of exactly the mechanic I just taught you. If you press the hidden air roll button, then immediately put your finger on the joystick, your car starts air rolling. And that's exactly what's happening during our stalls. We jump up, take our finger off joystick to do a neutral jump, then tap half air roll and immediately put our finger back on the joystick, which causes our car to air roll. Now, if we want to fix this problem, we've got a few possible solutions. The first is to just never let go of joystick. Try to put your finger in the center and then do your neutral jump. This will fix the problem. Another solution is my personal favorite, which is to change the order of our button presses. Instead of going let go of joystick, jump, half air roll button, back on joystick, we should move this to here, putting our finger back on the joystick immediately after jumping. As I said, this solution works really well and is actually my recommended solution, the one that I personally use myself when playing on touch. And the last solution I could come up with is to hold your finger on the half air roll button and then put your finger back on the joystick while you're holding it. Then you can let go of half air roll and press it again if you need to. All of these solutions work totally fine and they're really just up to you. So get out there into the hoops arena and give them a go, see which one works best for you. And that's it. Those are my two solutions to two of the biggest problems on touchscreen. I really hope this video was helpful to you guys. If it was, please make sure to share it with your touchscreen friends because it might help them too. And if you haven't already, go check out my second channel where I do live gameplay of Sideswipe, Rocket League and other games as well. Come join the Mogs Discord server if you want to hang out with me and other Mogs viewers. And become a Mogs member if you want to play Sideswipe with me as well as get access to a whole bunch of other perks. 
All the details for all of these are in the video description. And like the video if you liked it, dislike it if not, subscribe for more videos like this as well as a whole bunch of other Rocket League and Rocket League Sideswipe content. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.